data for each element instance in the model can be browsed in the info view once the element's been highlighted using the info tool which is available from the component handling tools or by pressing the shortcut 5. When you click on a component it highlights in a bold green colour so you can easily see what you're looking at. The amount of properties and the number of property sets will vary. This is based on how many parameters have been added to the elements in the original authoring systems as well as how many of these have been exported to IFC. The tabs can include the following information if it's present. So we have identification. This contains the general information that should exist for all components. So fields such as name, type, GUID, authoring system, etc. Location will show where the component exists within a project. The quantities are calculated by Celebri Model Checker based on the data imported. Material will show the material data. Relations is an important one because it shows the connections that allow the logic of rules to be understood. So an example of this wall here we have relations such as the nearest spaces. So these are the spaces that form a boundary with this wall. We can also see we have void relationships that show the openings where the, the windows are formed. And there may be other examples showing the containment relationships and the federated flow relationships too. The classifications tab will show classifications created automatically in the authoring system or ones that have been processed already by Celebri. The base quantities are generated by the authoring system and exported to IFC. If property sets have been exported, these will also be shown in various tabs depending on exactly what has been exported. I've now selected a space from the model tree and if the data is present in IFC then we may also see space boundary and space boundary area information.